Aloha. I am Coach Nico and welcome to my first ever cooking class. Today I'm coming to you from the kitchen of the awesome couriers, Lisa, Mike, and John, living up here in Pukalani, Maui. They've graciously lent me their kitchen to cook a fabulous meal for you tonight. On tonight's menu is a Midwest treat for all of you Midwesterners out there from where I originate from, Indiana, as well as all of Lisa's family in the Midwest as well. So what are we making? Tonight's menu is going to include my famous mashed potatoes, which Lisa loves so much. Alongside the mashed potatoes, we're going to be making a Cajun tofu. Yes, tofu, not chicken, but I promise you, if you follow along, you will be pleasantly surprised in the taste. In addition, we are going to be making an asparagus dish. Simple, quick, easy. And last but not least, we're going to be making a Greek salad. And that Greek salad is inspired by my other half of my family from the land of Israel. So follow me along, let's get started, and I hope you're hungry. All right, let's talk about how we're going to make this meal. Tonight, we're gonna to start by cutting the potatoes into small cubes. Potatoes are awesome. They have good carbohydrates. It has lots of fiber and glucose to power that amazing brain. What you wanna avoid is adding lots of cheese and animal protein to your potatoes. This is a Yukon potato. Red potatoes work great too for mashed potatoes or rustic potatoes, whichever you prefer. In regards to nutrition, however, the best potato would be the sweet potato or the Okinawa potato. And we're gonna smash the garlic down and break it apart from piece to piece. So I'm probably gonna take maybe four to five big chunks of this garlic. I like it extra garlicky. So I'm gonna peel the garlic by cutting each end. Raw garlic is an amazing food. It's a great antioxidant. It can help you and boost your immune system to fight off infectious diseases and symptoms. Especially with COVID-19 right now, our immune system could use all the help it can get. So you gotta understand, in your blood are white blood cells. And those white blood cells, as my beautiful wife would tell you, are your army defending you from sickness and from disease. So giving it a boost of garlic is gonna do nothing but help. When preparing the tofu, you're going to cut the tofu in cubes. So first I start by slicing it through the middle, then cutting it in nice slivers. You can make it as thick or as small as you want. Obviously the thicker it is, the longer it'll take to cook. Tofu is an amazing food. A lot of people are usually really scared about estrogen. But soy is a phytoestrogen. It's actually healthy for you, improves bone strength, and helps fight off cancer. The estrogen you want to worry about is the estrogen that you find in animal foods. So when you eat the meat of another animal, you're also eating their estrogen and their cholesterol, which builds up plaque and kills your endothelial cells inside your arteries. We'll dice the asparagus up into nice smaller pieces. Honestly, the size doesn't matter too much. It's completely up to you and your preference. All right, and next we are going to work on the salad. So I'm gonna go ahead and first cut my onion. Again, I'm not gonna use the entire onion, probably maybe just a little less than half. Onion is also amazing. And if you know anything about nutrition, you know it's not just one food. It's the combination of all the variety of plant foods. And I am going to dice these onions pretty small. So what I did was kind of a rainbow cut. And then from the rainbow cut, we are going to dice into smaller pieces. Next, we're going to cut the pepper. Peppers are awesome. It's great to have all colors. You know, you kind of want to eat the rainbow every time that you cook. I'm going to slice these peppers also into nice slivers here. And then I'm going to also cut them really fine. Especially if you don't like these foods so much, if you're not used to them, the smaller you cut, the better it is to tolerate, you know, the taste. Especially if you eat a high sugar or high fat diet, vegetable flavors are probably not going to be as tasty at first. 
But if you paid attention in science class when you were in middle school and learned about mitosis, you'll know that the taste buds in your mouth will change over time and you will love these foods like never before. And now for the cucumber. Cucumber is my favorite. And for the cucumber, after I've cut the ends off, I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm gonna slice it in nice slivers from the top and then slivers again. And this is how we're gonna get that nice, really little square cucumber. And it's packed with a lot of vitamins. As you can tell, it contains a lot of water, so it has a lot of fiber, great for digestion. Help increase that metabolism. Let's go ahead and go over to the carrots. So again, I highly recommend that you use a peeler if you're not as experienced in the kitchen. Just for the sake of time today, I'm going to be using my knife. And from the carrot here, again, like the cucumber, I'm gonna cut straight down. And this way it can give us also nice little cubes of carrot. And then we'll cut nice and long ways. Carrots are amazing. They can definitely help with your eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tomato. I'm also gonna kinda cut that in nice slices, nice and thin. And then again, the other direction. Tomatoes are great for your heart. Kale is an amazing, amazing superfood. Lots of fiber, lots of vitamins, lots of nutrients, great for bone strength, lots of calcium. Who knew you could get calcium from greens, huh? Then the next thing I'm gonna do is just dice the kale up nice and finely. When you do that, it also kinda makes it feel bigger. Also gonna take our lettuce here. And same thing with the lettuce. I'm gonna cut the lettuce into nice, small pieces. Leafy greens are a must. You gotta get leafy greens every single day. It's wonderful for your digestion, wonderful for your gut and your stomach. And it'll keep you going for a nice, healthy, happy life. We're gonna add some green onion. So as many fresh herbs, the better. And last but not least, we have the sprouts, and the sprouts I'll just pull apart and add to the salad. We've washed all our vegetables, now we're gonna add it into the salad bowl. Look at this amazing salad. And then we're gonna add the lemon. This way, it's super healthy, hardly any to no calories, and is gonna taste great. After I've added the lemon, I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit here. And then I'm going to add the olives. And these calamante olives, also to help towards the dressing, I'm gonna add just a little bit of the olive oil juice that comes in the jar. Olives are great because they have the fiber and the nutrients. When you only use olive oil, you're using 100% fat. So to give it kind of that olive oily taste, Let's use just the olives and avoid heavy processed oil that's only going to clog your arteries. This is the Violife Feta Cheese. It's a soy-based product. Again, this is processed, so it's not really 100% healthy for you. But if you're trying to make the switch from cow or goat or whatever animal cheese into a plant-based cheese, this is definitely one of my favorites. So you don't need the whole pack. A nice little sliver will do. And then I like to go ahead and use my hands. A real chef uses their hands, obviously washed, but using your hands is one of the most fun things to do in the kitchen. All right, so check it out. Our salad is ready to rock and roll. Now that we're over at the stove, we'll turn the stove on high to get the water boiling. Once the water is boiling, we will add those potatoes. While the water is boiling, we're gonna go ahead and turn on our frying pan. So I'm gonna turn that on, and I'm gonna put that on about medium high to high. Now that this is going, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the tofu to the skillet. This is the all-purpose Cajun seasoning that I'm gonna be using on the tofu. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle on some of the seasoning now. Go ahead and 
Stir that up a little bit. The water is boiling, so I'm going to go ahead and add my potatoes. The tofu is cooking nicely. It's just about there. As you can tell, it's getting a little bit more brown. Looks just like nuggets, so we're going to have nice Cajun nuggets when this is done. So as I let this cook a little bit more, I'm going to come over and I'll check on the potatoes. Oh, the potatoes are nice and soft. I'm going to come over and drain the water, put them into the pot. Now we're going to use Miyoku's butter for the mashed potatoes. And Miyoku, thank you so much for making such a great product. You can't even tell that it's not butter. My wife and I had the opportunity to meet Miyoku during one of her lectures here on Maui. So for the butter, I'm only going to use, you know, maybe a fifth or so. All right, the next thing we're going to add is coconut milk. Coconut milk also has saturated fat, so since we're going to be feeding five people tonight, one can should be enough, and we should also have leftovers. So the ratio should be pretty good. Coconut milk is not something I would use on a daily basis, but every now and then, or we're making a great meal like tonight, it's perfect. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the, some pepper. Add a little bit of just a little pinch of the Monterey steak salt. And last but not least, we're going to add the raw garlic. While that's sitting there for a second, I'm just going to stir my tofu. Let it flip a little bit. You can see it's getting nice and golden brown. To mash the potatoes, I have this nice cooking wand. Uh, several brands make a wand like this. It's a really awesome tool to have in your kitchen. Great for mashing potatoes. All right, mashed potatoes are finished. All right, and lastly, we're going to cook up the asparagus. The asparagus doesn't take too long to make, five minutes or so. So the asparagus is going nicely. I'm going to go ahead and add some lemon here on top. You can hear that great sizzle. And we'll finish it off with a little bit of roasted garlic and herb. And the best part about being a chef is making sure you taste test. Mmm. Delicious. All right, we're ready to serve up a dish. And there you have it, a beautiful, healthy, amazing, delicious meal. Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you enjoyed this delicious meal if you made it along with me at home. If not, I hope you try it soon and see how easy and affordable it is to make a whole plant-based dinner. And until next time, aloha.